for the WWE Intercontinental Championship, Drew McIntyre versus the Ring General Gunta. So, man, uh, you knew this was going to be hard hitting. Gunther and Drew McIntyre. Now, I had to probably be sitting about a good 75 or even more feet away from the stadium. I was there on the lower level, but a pretty sizable distance between the rings. So, unfortunately, the mics aren't so loud to the point that you could hear the chops in person. But going back and watching on TV, you could hear every devastating shot. Also, the entrances for both men were awesome live as well but that being said it was hard hitting you saw why both men are incredibly athletic uh I do think though this match did not reach the heights of Gunther's match with Sheamus at Clash of the Castle nor do I even think it reached the heights of Gunther when he was taking on both Drew and Sheamus in a triple threat match at Wrestlemania earlier this year but this was still a pretty serviceable solid hard hitting match between two very athletic big guys and I really love a lot of the psychology that was built up in here so there's a point where um, Gunther does a splash on Drew McIntyre doesn't work so later on towards the finish he does the splash again but immediately just goes right into picking up Drew McIntyre hits him with a clothesline picks him right back up throws him into the power bomb and then gets the one two three to retain the Intercontinental Championship 100% clean this goes back to what I'm always saying as great of a talent as Austin Theory is, the WWE is constantly booking him as inferior as a mid-card champion, always having him have to win via non-clean methods or shenanigans. With Gunther, they're getting this guy in here winning clean over big top talent like Drew McIntyre. And that is right there exactly what it takes to build a credible superstar. This is why people see Gunther as being credible. And I love how this reign is continuing to build the prestige back up for the Intercontinental Championship as we now head towards, and they were mentioning this a lot on commentary, that Gunther at this point is now more or less a month away from breaking the Honky Tonk Man's record to become the all-time longest Intercontinental Champion in WWE history.